Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, uh, I'll be explaining how to calculate the saturation indices of certain minerals using Flick software. So first of all, uh, let me show you how our should uh, how our input data should look like. So I'll open this file. So here is my data of uh, eighteen groundwater samples. Contains pH, PC, PDS, CO3, alkalinity, Cl, and other parameters. So, what data I will need is pH, PC, HCO3, Cl, NO3, SO4, chloride, calcium, magnesium, and hydrogen. So, this much data I will need. I will mark it with some different color. And I will build it. So it will be easier for me to copy paste. So now I will open free interactive software tools. So uh, using this free software, now you have to give your water sample data to this free. You will click file new. So your current project is rig 2 you will give your data to the software by initial conditions so if you have if you want to calculate si of just a single groundwater sample you will select solution but if you have a large number of data you will go to solution spread a dialog box will appear and then now you have to select what parameters to have so we have pH. I will select pH. HCO3 as alkalinity. HCO3 Cl. I uh, will not uh, use EC. NO3 SO4. Select. Uh, FCA of CNG and CNG and so the data I have the parameters I have selected are now imported here you can see. Now I will just copy paste this data. Copy. See, my data is now you can see my data is imported. So it was mistake me. So I have imported my data from Excel suit. Access sheet to the free software. Now I have to give the units. PHS unit. Alkalinity. Select all as energy per data. You can use units of your choice too. But my data is in energy per liter. I will select energy per liter. Then go to the points and select the unit as the energy per liter. Rest of the values will be same. If you have these data also, you can include, but I don't have, so I will select and check data. Click OK. Now you can see here that your imported data will appear. It is same to my Excel sheet. Now what I will do is I just want the saturation indices of three minerals like L, uh, say calcite, dolomite, and gypsum. So what I will do is I'll go to this funnel shaped selected output in 
printing and numerical methods if this bar is not available you have to you can make it appear and disappear from here now i will select this selected output what do i need to calculate is saturation indices do i need any other options no i will select all false if you want any of the data from here you can select this as true so let's say i will select the ph as true then you click on saturation indices now select all of the minerals you want to calculate your saturation indices for say i want to calculate for calcite Click OK. Now you can see here in your output file what data do you want? It is pH, true, and saturation indices of reset, glutamate, and gypsum. Now you have to click run. You must save your file. I will select the video as I am uploading this video. I will name it as tutorial. Click save. See, my simulation tool is done, and I can close the box. Now you can see here your initial solution one means your sample one data, solution component, description, description of a species, and this is the saturation indices of following minerals. Now for sample two, again same data. Solution three again same data. You can export this file using print. I don't want to export this data. I have ex already exported in my YouTube video folder. This is my output file. Selected output one. The extension of this file is .sel, but it will open in Excel. You have to manually select Excel, then click open with. Excel. It will contain the saturation indices of uh, whatever minerals I have exported. See. pH, calcite, dolomite, and gypsum. pH I have selected true there, so I have got pH here. If I had selected pH false there, pH column would have been absent. So now, what next? Now I have to plot this data. I will select. Uh, I am just showing you a simple procedure using Excel, but you can plot it uh, in a more interactive way using the Python or say MATLAB or any other like tabu or something. I will plot this data as a line chart. This is my line chart. So on y-axis I have saturation indices in positive, negative, and zero. On x axis from 1 to 18, I have sample number. So now let's see what does this saturation indices mean. So there are three possibilities SI should greater than 0, SI less than 0, and SI equals to 0. SI equals to 0. When SI greater than 0 means my sample is over saturated respect to that mineral and hence precipitation of mineral will occur precipitation of mineral si less than means zero means under saturated and means dissolution si means it is in equilibrium with surrounding rocks now let's calculate the average so average. so this is the average of my si of calcite dolomite and gypsum mean values now greater than zero so calcite is greater than zero means it is over saturated dolomite is also means over 
saturated and is gypsum si is less than 0 means it is under saturated okay you can see this in here also calcite dolomite above 0 saturated gypsum less than 0 means under saturated you can use these data in your let's say uh, research publications you can export uh, if you want some other minerals also like dolomite fluorite uh, halite halite is also an important uh, uh, mineral to calculate uh, while you are working in uh, arid and semi arid uh, kind of regions okay so let's save this file and i'm done